The royal visit has come to an end, and behind him Prince Charles leaves a thousand different impressions and excited little children. But he also leaves a veritable trail of swooning females. The prince's spontaneous kisses have caused quite a stir and are rapidly earning the prince an image more commonly accredited the pop stars. He's being seen as a sex symbol. A sex symbol, that is, in every other state but Perth. Oh, I just um, asked the prince uh, if he minded if I'd give him a kiss and he just looked at me and smiled and um, he said, OK. And that, that was a real big thrill for me. I didn't think I'd even get that close to him. And you kissed him? <laughs> yes. It's very exciting. I left the lipstick mark on his cheek, but apparently as he walked further down, he wiped it off his cheek. <laughs> Do you think he's a, a sex symbol? I don't know about sex symbol, but I think it's very nice. <laughs> oh, probably some people are trying to make him out to be something that he's not. You don't think he is a sex symbol? Oh yes, I think he is in a way. I never think of it like that. I don't even think of him in that light. He's supposed to be the king. He's supposed to make an image for himself, but not a sex symbol. Do you think he's doing that, or do you think the young girls no, are doing that? No, the young girls, definitely. <laughs> if you were younger, would you consider him in that light, as a sex symbol? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> he is a future king, and you don't sort of look at them and think, oh, they're very sexy people, do you? We, we shoved a hand out so we could grab it, you know, so we're pleased. I think he's lovely. Right. Was, was he what you expected? No. Oh, we thought he was a bit taller when we first... And then when he came up, he wasn't that tall. So do I. He's a rather quiet boy. Yeah. I like him. He's very nice. Good looking. I like his money. <laughs>